everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kayla if you're new here I don't know if I have updated you guys since RakuCon but I actually have zero markets for the entire month of October and I'm super super scared and nervous because I feel like markets right now are a huge chunk of my income aside from my day job at the hospital and so I feel like I'm pretty nervous and so in order for me to kind of calm my nerves I just decided to make a ton of candles while I have this time off. Oh, ignore the trash in the background. I moved it to film a reel at my wax making station but clearly uh, I didn't count for that. I did plan for my shop launch on October 28th. That's the official date. I just decided it last night. Originally, I wanted to do November 1st, but everyone on Instagram voted for October 28th. So I guess that's the date that we're going to go with and hopefully I can get everything done by then. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you knew that I'm preparing for a new holiday collection. And this includes a lot of new products that I've never sold or made before. And that is taking a lot longer than I thought it would because there's a lot of like design aspects and I'm also like pretty picky I would say so there's just things that I will do and then a couple later I'll come back and then I'll be like oh I actually didn't like that and then I'll tweak it again and then the cycle just continues. So I finally purchased all of the remaining items. Um, this week so hopefully they will come in time for the launch shipping says it will come on October 24th so I'm super excited um, I have the giant paint cans which you guys probably already know about these ones and they're gonna be holiday gift sets and they're gonna include a whole bunch of things that I'm really excited for should I spoil it now I don't know okay I'll give you guys a hint one of the items that's coming is scented stationery. So I'm super excited, lots of goodies. Uh, it's really fun for me creatively because I feel like sometimes making candles, not gonna lie, is a little bit boring for me because pretty much it's the same process every time. Like you're melting wax, you're adding your fragrance and then you're pouring the wax. And that overall process is the same every time. It's only the fragrance that's different for each candle. So I feel like making these other products is just kind of more fun for me and hopefully fun for you guys as well. I do have some things in the works for 2025 already, which is pretty crazy. But that design aspect is going to take so crazy long. But once I get it done, I think you will be blown away hopefully so keep that in mind what else do i want to tell you if you like my outfit from today you can purchase it from lucan i want to thank lucan for sponsoring a portion of today's video they have extremely cute clothing and it's lots of korean and akubi style which is exactly up my alley and everything is so comfortable and affordable i highly recommend checking out their website and you can use my code from underscore kayla for 30 percent off so I just have some candle wax melting here and that's why I decided to vlog because I'm waiting for it to melt. It usually takes 20 to 30 minutes to melt so I'm just kind of chilling. If you guys know in my hallway this is where I make all of my candles because I have outgrown my studio room. So this is what the situation is looking like right now. I try to usually pour one or two cents in a day that way my nose doesn't get like overwhelmed so today i'm doing the goji berry and then if i have time i'll probably do another one september was pretty crazy for me i feel like you guys purchased so many more candles than i expected and i'm so grateful and thankful for that but my inventory is like really bad right now my shelves are just empty and i have a lot of things that are sold out and so yeah, I just kind of want to restock everything for you guys so that you have more options for my website. I also 
entered the maker store in cross iron mills just last week so that has been going well i don't have to restock there yet but some things have been selling which is really nice to hear i will update you guys on my maker's journey like throughout this whole process because i think it's just kind of fun for me to document and if you guys are a small business owner thinking about joining maybe that can give you some advice as well i did a whole video on my maker's like consignment experience so if you're interested i'll link it down below I have some friends visiting town as well this weekend because it's actually coming close to Canadian Thanksgiving. So yeah, people are visiting and I'm kind of booked up. We're going out for dinner tonight and then I'm going to Edmonton next weekend to visit my parents. So I'm just trying to fit in candle making in all of my spare time basically. And then in the evenings is usually when I try to edit. Let me know if you guys are liking the two videos per week. I'm trying to upload every Tuesday and Friday, but I'm wondering if that's like too close to each other and if you guys just prefer one video a week. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun because I'm like almost updating in real time. And a lot of YouTubers I watch, I feel like they upload like two or three weeks as like a lag schedule so that's probably smart for them because they have like some buffer time i feel like i'm living my life and then i'm like literally recording it and editing it the next day i've been taking a break from instagram if you guys probably noticed and i feel like my stress levels have just gone down so much um this didn't really mean to turn into like a, a chatty video but i guess while i'm waiting for my wax to melt i might as well is this too dark? My room has really bad lighting and so I never know where to put my camera in this room. My gosh, ignore the garbage again. Um, yeah, I feel like for Instagram, I had a period where I was really pushing it. Like I was posting on there daily. I was posting on my stories multiple times a day. And honestly, I was just feeling so stressed out about it for absolutely no reason no one was telling me that i had to do this it's just i did it to myself and then i was constantly feeling super stressed having to make content i feel like part of the reason is because i didn't really have a schedule and i didn't really have like any set content ideas and i didn't have anything batch filmed so i was literally filming things the night before or the day of and then editing them and posting them and obviously that's going to lead to burnout sooner rather than later. And so I was just at a point where I was laying in bed and I was like, oh my god, I don't have a, a reel to post tomorrow. And then I would like get up out of bed and like go film something. And I just realized that's really unhealthy and I was really stressed, especially like when I had work at the hospital the next day, I would like be up late at night filming and editing something and then I'd have to wake up at like 6 a.m. to go to work and it's just, it's not good. So I, one day I just woke up and I was like, you know what, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> and I haven't been posting on Instagram regularly, but honestly, I haven't noticed a change in my audience on there. Like, I'm still gaining a few subscribers or a few followers daily there. Not as much as I want, obviously, because I'm not posting regularly. But my mental health is just, like, so much better now. And I think until I come up with, like, a schedule or something, like, a batch filming thing that will work for me, I don't want to post on Instagram daily. If you guys probably realized, I think YouTube is what I've been focusing on more recently. I think YouTube is also easier for me because I feel like on Instagram Reels, like literally every second counts. If you don't capture someone's attention within the first three seconds, they just swipe off. And I'm really bad for that as well, like as a user. But for YouTube, I feel like it's a little bit more intimate and I don't have to make every second so impactful. So I enjoy making these longer types of videos and just chatting and showing you guys what I'm up to. And it's more enjoyable for me. 
I'm finding that short form content is really difficult. Um, it makes it look so easy online when you're just like watching a video. But when I think about all the effort that people put into creating it, um, I really applaud them. And so for now, I'm taking a break from Instagram. I'm trying to update like on my stories more for the people who are actually more interested in what I'm up to versus like ghost followers. I also, I just enjoy YouTube videos more like I as a user I watch YouTube like every day but I wouldn't say that I'm on TikTok every day for example. I organized my room this week. I guess you can't really tell. I don't know can you tell I changed like the the shelving a bit and I made space on the bottom for my new holiday stuff that's going to be coming. I used to have like a whole bunch of fragrance oils on the bottom but I realized like they're kind of ugly because they're just big black bags of liquid so I put them in my closet now and I think it just looks a lot more clean and like I I put like my wooden basket on the bottom so it just looks a little bit better in my backgrounds instead of like having those black bags but yeah at the bottom shelf I'm gonna have two more holiday scents plus I have my wax melts that are releasing plus my sample tins like these ones that are going to be releasing and then I have the gift sets with a whole bunch of stuff so my house is pretty crazy right now like I want to hide my kitchen from you because there's just boxes of stuff everywhere uh, yeah I reorganized my closet to make space as well because I realized I showed you guys my closet like a few videos ago and when I was watching that back I was like should I even show this I'm kind of embarrassed that there's just a bunch of junk in here so I I went through my closet and I got rid of like a lot of stuff. I don't know why I was like hoarding things that I haven't used in like three years. So yeah, I got rid of that and organized that. So I just feel like organizing my room also puts me in a better headspace. Like, is that just me? But whenever I redo my room or my bedroom, I just feel like refreshed and rejuvenated and I feel like I'm like starting fresh. Work right now at the hospital is really hectic as well. We are moving to a new building in two two weeks now. And so like our whole department, we're like getting ready for this move and all of like the patient files have to be transferred over because it's a new hospital. Like just so many questions from patients and their families. Um, we're doing more staff orientation and training at the new center so then while half of the staff is like at the new building only half of us are at the current building so then we're short-staffed and yeah it's just pretty hectic we're expected to do a lot of overtime for the next three months at work which is horrible like why would you do overtime during the holiday season they are also changing the work hours of the new building. So instead of starting at 6.30 a.m., we're starting at 6 a.m. now. And then instead of ending at 6 p.m., we're ending at 7.30 p.m. So it's just longer work hours, more overtime. It's like hectic. And I know I'm complaining a lot, but like it's a huge change. Um, the building is, right now, our department is like one floor. And the new building is like 15 floors. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't even want to think about going to work when I'm not at work because it just stresses me out. So candle making has kind of been my outlet, as you guys know, from my hospital job. But then holiday season's a little stressful, so I'm just chronically stressed right now. <laughs> but that's okay because I cleaned my room. So anyways... I feel like I'm rambling a lot and I should probably check on my wax because it's probably done because I've been talking to you for like 15 minutes now. I typically use a thermometer just to double check the temperature of my wax before I uh, put it in my pitcher. My wax melter does have like a temperature that it is set to for it to melt at and hold the temperature but I also feel like just using an additional thermometer is more accurate i think it's the scientific background in me i don't know start a timer for two minutes two minutes starting now 
It's been a few days since I've last recorded, but as you can tell, I'm in my room and my background has changed a little bit. Ta-da! I wanted to film some videos of me just prepping my candles and also trimming them. And although I normally do this work in my hallway, I noticed that the lighting is just not very good there. I think it's because it's like literally in the middle of our house and there's no direct window there. So the lighting is usually pretty dark. And then it's also just not very cute in my opinion. So I got my folding table from my garage. I'm literally out of breath right now because I carried it from the garage and up the stairs. But this is the folding table I usually bring to markets. Except for November, all of the markets I'm attending are surprisingly providing their own table. And I am so thankful for that because this is like so heavy for me to carry all the time with all my stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this table, put a tablecloth over it, and then I can put my candles on here. And it's just like a nice change of scenery for you guys as well. I kind of revamped my shelving. I organized the top of it better. And I have my like, what is this called? It's not a pegboard, but it's like a letter board. And I usually use this at markets for like my promos. But for some reason, I lost all the alphabets for it right now. So... I just took it off. I wanted to say like from Kayla or something like that but for now it's just plain and I restocked all of my goji berry candles yesterday so that's why I have a ton. Honestly I'm a little worried for the weight on each shelf. I think the weight for each shelf is recommended to be like 30 pounds and this is definitely heavier than 30 pounds so I'm a little scared but it doesn't look like it has broke yet so fingers crossed but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on this and hopefully i can film a little bit of content today i've just been i don't know what i was doing i was making stock but i wasn't filming it i think just because it was like late at night and just had a lot of other things as multitasking but yeah i figured i could film a little bit today Alrighty, i have my all-purpose cleaner and I have some paper towel, so let's clean this table before I put my tablecloth on it. Honestly, this table I feel was kind of bad quality. I just got it um, fairly recently, like a few months ago, and I've only used it for a couple of markets, but it got so beat up so quick. I originally had another table that I was using just from my brother, and I believe that one was from Costco. Um, but it was super heavy. I think it was like their heavy duty model. And literally every time I had to bring that up the stairs, I died inside a little bit. So I decided to go to Home Depot and get a lighter weight table. But this one is just not very good quality. When it folds, it doesn't really snap together. So sometimes it will open and that's kind of like a hazard. I think if I'm like carrying it and then it half opens. I'm hoping that I can attend more markets where they provide the table because that would be literally a back saver. Not a life saver, but a back saver. The only thing I like about this table is that it has wheels. I don't think you guys can see it on that side, but there's wheels on this side and I can use this to like wheel my table. I don't think I would recommend this Canadian tire table. I think either get a different quality like brand one or just stick with the heavy duty one and suck it up. Okay, I'm gonna get all my candles from the hallway and transfer them here. That way I can film myself trimming them. Kind of a waste of time, but at least it will be better for you guys. And yeah, I think this room just has better lighting than the hallway, obviously. I'm also in my pajamas right now, so ignore me. I 
the suit spreads on this side i did a re-pour because i only had five left in stock this one's been really popular it's kind of inspired by like a campfire scent so it's got more of like a smoky tone i also have a couple of the gingerbread ones i poured honestly the fragrance that i made i didn't make that much of it so i could only pour what is this 10 but i did have some in the background there and i also sold some at the last RakuCon. And then all of these ones here are part of the new collection launching on October 28th. And I don't have the labels yet because I ordered them and they're still on their way. I think the labels are coming tomorrow. So stay tuned probably for the next making vlog where I will reveal what the scent is. But for now, leave a comment down below. If you can guess what the scent is, the first person to guess it correctly will get a candle shipped to them. I think because obviously it takes up the entire room like basically i only have this much space for me to move around but luckily i'm like pretty small so i don't need that much walking area this is actually kind of nice when i think about it because my wax melter is like literally right here and then um, i can just turn around and pour it right here before i was always worried about dripping wax on our carpet because I'd have to walk from here to the hallway. I feel like whenever I'm in the hallway, I have to have all the lights on because I can't see exactly what I'm doing. But also I have a bad tendency to work into the evening. Hi, I just changed because it was getting cold and I had my window open. The logical sense would be to close my window, <laughs> but it's actually quite scented in my office because this is where I pour all of my fragrance oils. I guess I never really talked about it on camera, but yeah, everything is very concentrated. So I usually have my office window open even when it's literally snowing or raining outside just so I can get some airflow. So anyways, I got cold and I put on a sweater, but I'm still wearing shorts. So it's still the same day, it just changed. I just posted on my Instagram the wax melt reveal today and it looks like the response is pretty positive. Uh, you guys can follow my Instagram at from underscore Kayla for more like real time updates. But I'm so excited to launch everything and I'm very happy that so far the response is positive. I'll be updating like the prices and everything shortly. I'm still kind of deciding on a couple of details. So yeah stay tuned i will also be bringing these to the cross iron mills maker store so those of you who live further north in calgary or like red deer or maybe edmonton that's probably the closest location for you okay you are on my wax melter right now but that's okay i think it's stable um i have my heat gun plugged in so i'm just gonna heat gun the tops of all these candles now it's pretty self-explanatory but honestly almost all of these were perfect pours like if you pour at the right temperature and you have everything done correctly, you almost always just need to touch up a couple of them, but not all of them. Like this one is literally perfect, so I don't have to do anything to it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm getting distracted. just looking at my inventory shelf and I decided I'm gonna restock more of the lychee bloom I don't know what happened because I literally just restocked it but um, I only have six left so I'm just turning on my wax melter right beside you guys and oh I have wax in there already okay so yeah I'm just turning it on I gotta wait about 20 to 30 for 
minutes for this to melt but for the meanwhile i can probably get my tins like all set on my table and wicked that way when i have the wax ready i'm just ready to pour it actually works out so well that these wicks are a bit longer. Well, at first, honestly, it's pretty much a big hassle to have to trim everything every time because I noticed that some candle makers, they actually have wicks that are the correct size so they don't have to cut it at all. They just pour their candle and that's it. But for mine, I usually have like this much left over that I need to cut. But the good thing is, now that I'm doing the sample tin candles, the wick actually fits like pretty much perfectly in these. I have to trim the top off a little bit, but for the most part, I can reuse all of these wicks. I have literally have hundreds, maybe thousands, probably thousands at this point that I've just saved because I was always like, what if I could use these for something else? Because it's still functional, it's just short. And luckily, I have finally found a solution to all these and that will help me save a lot on costs as well. Wicks are pretty expensive. I think it's because like, it's natural wood and it's like certified and things like that. I was smart for once and I actually had some free time and I just went on a labeling rampage. I literally went on a rampage and I labeled everything and then just put it back in a box. So now when I'm ready to pour, Look at that they're already labeled top and also the bottom and so now all i have to do is put the wicks on been kind of lazy in doing the wicking process because as you guys know assembling wicks is like one of my most tedious and hated tasks for candle making so i have nothing assembled right now and i want to make all these candles so i gotta make like a batch right now maybe i'll just sit at my desk and watch something I usually like to listen to a podcast or like watch like someone else's vlogs on YouTube to pass time while I'm doing like tasks such as wick assembly. So maybe I'll do that. This is also another thing. I never have a set amount of candles that I want to make per batch. I usually just make how much I feel like making that day, which is a bad thing because I usually don't make that much at a time. And then I have to go through the cycle of having to make candles over and over again when I could have just made a larger batch in the first place. This is usually the bin where I keep all of my assembled wicks in and as you can see it's literally empty. I've used up all of the wicks that were in this basket which is pretty crazy because I remember just filming that video not too long ago. But I have um, a row of a hundred here. It just comes wrapped and I'm at my desk right now, so I'm just going to find something easy to watch, probably on YouTube, and assemble these. It doesn't take a long time to assemble them, it's just, it's so tedious. Like, I'd rather be doing so many other things. This is what a hundred assembled wicks looks like. It doesn't even fill this basket that much, but it's good enough for now. Um, I'm gonna check on my wax and then I'm gonna start putting these into the candle tins. Mm -hmm. 